these are warehouse robots. They are working autonomously to automate the storage and retrieval, pick and sortation, packaging and palletizing in warehouses. They relieve human workers from repetitive jobs and heavy lifting. The rise of the COVID-19 pandemic revealed the weaknesses of systems and processes that relied only on physical presence, leading to a surge in automation. Robots and automated systems replace the processes that used to be done manually or through face-to-face -face interaction. For example, Amazon started experimenting with deliveries using drones about eight years ago. But COVID-19 pandemic acted as a catalyst for Amazon to get approval for its delivery drones and start using its autonomous delivery vehicles uh, that are autonomous mobile robots to deliver goods to customers. Among these advances, the way that the work is done in warehouses and logistics has also been changed drastically based on the changing needs and demands of customers. In this video, we will talk about the dramatic changes that happened in the automation of modern warehouses and we'll also feature an interview with Prime Robotics, one of the leading companies for warehouse robotic automation solutions. Before diving into all this, let's learn a short history of warehouse robotics. Unimate was the name of the first industrial robot deployed by General Motors in their assembly line in the 1960s. This robot was utilized to transport the die castings from an assembly line and weld those uh, on auto bodies, which was a dangerous task to be done by a worker. The robot consisted of an arm mounted on a large box and a drum memory was used to store the tasks. For a long time, industrial robots, which were primarily programmable robotic arms, were put in a cage separated from human workers because they were not safe to be used in proximity of humans. They were mainly used um, to conduct dangerous tasks unsafe for human workers. Fast forward several decades with the rise of the Internet of Things, machine learning, advanced sensors, and artificial intelligence, and integration of these technologies with robotic technology, the robots in warehouses became capable of operating autonomously and more safely alongside humans, and a new era of human-robot collaboration began. Let's now discuss different types of warehouse robots. Warehouse automation refers to automating the storage and retrieval, picking, sortation, packaging, and palletizing. Material handling, packaging, and palletizing can quickly be done using the innovative new collaborative robots, or cobots for short, relieving workers from repetitive jobs and heavy lifting. For instance, a palletizing robot is a robot that automates the picking and stacking of the products on pallets, reducing the danger to the employees and labor costs to the employers. Innovative grippers, computer vision, and machine learning systems can enable cobots to handle different kinds of objects with different shapes and sizes, even in unstructured environments. We currently provide two solutions to the warehouse e-commerce uh, logistics um, and manufacturing uh, industries. So we provide Mobile Shelf, which is a goods-to-person shelf unit. Um, it, uh, it can move up to 1,100 pounds. Um, and then we also have our Mobile Pallet solution, which is a pallet mover, palletization robot solution. Um, that can actually move up to 4,400 pounds, so just over two tons. Another example is Alibaba's warehouse, where robots are used to automate bringing inventory in and out of storage, known as storage and retrieval systems. 
These autonomous systems are machines that can operate autonomously without the need for a human operator that can be used to transport the inventory in the warehouse. They usually follow a path based on the map that they have of the warehouse to do these tasks. The autonomous robots and warehouses are divided into the categories of automated guided vehicles or AGVs, uh, autonomous mobile robots or AMRs, drones and robotic arms that we'll discuss each of them shortly. Automated guided vehicles or AGVs are used to transport inventory within warehouses. AGVs can travel along a fixed and static path. These routes are pre-established and marked by wires, magnetic strips, tracks, embedded sensors in the floor, or other physical guides. Some AGVs feature cameras, LiDAR, or infrared for autonomous navigation, obstacle identification, and avoidance. Alibaba's warehouse features uh, AGVs for autonomously transporting goods. So we use fidu our, our robots are driven on fiducial QR codes, mm -hmm. um, spaced out roughly every meter um, mm -hmm. on a grid-like pattern. Um, and essentially, you know, put those grids down wherever you want robots to go and wherever you want people to go, you know, don't put the grids down. And um, a great interface between the robots and the humans are our various pick stations, our ship stations, pick and pack stations, delivery stations. Um, we have a variety of different stations where humans and robots interface um, to develop that productivity. Autonomous mobile robots, or AMRs, are examples of autonomous vehicles that use different onboard sensors, computers, and maps to understand their environments. They can be considered to be smarter AGVs. Most of these robots can create their own routes based on the task needed and are capable of rerouting and obstacle avoidance. Picking, sorting, and inventory counting are some of the tasks that autonomous mobile robots can efficiently perform. RFID technology, along with robot localization, is used to automate inventory counting for the warehouse to acquire a complete view of the warehouse and its assets. A tedious job that was previously done every few months uh, promoting errors and inventory theft. Some AMRs can also climb aisles in warehouses to retrieve customer orders. AMRs are considered to be cobots and they work in collaboration with human workers. At the warehouse, these robots either travel through a pick area, stop for the worker to perform the pick, or travel with the worker from one pick location to the other. Drones showed great potential for the logistics industry when in 2013, Amazon unveiled its futuristic plan of drone delivery. Drones can be used in warehouses to automate and optimize processes flying through challenging to reach and dangerous places in the warehouse to scan items on the highest shelves. Drones use vision sensors with deep learning algorithms for warehouse navigation. All at all, in their research article, proposed a solution to autonomous drone flight for inventory applications in indoor environments like warehouses where positioning like GNSS are usually not available. They used an RFID reader along with two high-resolution cameras to detect the stored items on warehouse shelves. Localization and mapping are done through the SLAM pipeline based on a 3D LiDAR. The LiDAR is the basis for the obstacle avoidance system as well. Fast flight is achieved through a time-optimal closed-loop trajectory generation and control. Their drone could accomplish the mission of complete inventory of one shelf row and inspection of a single storage unit in another row requested from the Warehouse Management System or WMS. These pick-and-place robots feature specially designed grippers, vision systems, and AI integration for automation of picking and packing, receiving and storage, or palletizing products. 
Some robotic arms are equipped with different grippers, and the AI learns the suitability of each grippers for a specific object and automatically switches the gripper for proper picking and packing. Um, but we're currently developing our, our own Prime Robotics robotic arm now. Um, this arm will be for palletizing. So it will be a large stationary arm that moves um, boxes from A to B. Um, you know, we'd like what we'd like to do is use a gripper that can allow us to grab two boxes um, so that we're able to grab two boxes and move them, you know, roughly every eight to 10 seconds, which is tremendous ROI. Researchers from the University of Pisa in Italy presented one picking solution for dual robotic arms. Humans pick objects through different means. They either rotate the object about vertical and horizontal axes, slide the objects or use two hands one will free the object from the pallet and the other hand primarily as support these techniques are also adopted in the robot inspired by human picking uh, the researchers use two seven degrees of freedom robotic arms with the end defector in the form of soft hands and a support end defector in the form of a velvet tray for this purpose as we discussed, motion planning is inspired by human motions for picking. They used for torque sensors to reactively plan the motion by detecting contact forces between the robot and the environment and if the gripper reached the target position. Another solution for picking with a robotic arm is through a suction end defector. For instance, researchers at the University of Bonn used the UR10 arm with 6 degrees of freedom with a foldable suction gripper with 2 degrees of freedom for this purpose. A dual camera setup was used to estimate the depths. Constanzo et al. proposed the warehouse robotic solution system that can handle a single item rather than a whole box. The specific supermarket items are handled through motion planning and grasp control based on tactile sensing and visual servoing. A KUKA robot with a gripper and tactile fingers are used, and the control system consists of a visual servoing controller and a grasp controller. Integrating advanced sensors such as visual, audio, and haptic sensors in the warehouse robots gives them the ability and knowledge to perceive their environment through vision and touch, which is nicely shown in this research. The data from these sensors play a pivotal role for AI and machine learning algorithms to be integrated into robots for making correct decisions based on input from their environment. In conclusion, robots are used for automating processes in warehouses, and they have become more and more popular, especially after the rise of the COVID pandemic, to increase the capability of doing more work and safety of the employees while decreasing the labor costs for employers. Humans can make errors when tired, but not robots, and this leads to more inventory accuracy the integration of Internet of Things, better sensors such as cameras and artificial intelligence or AI into robotic technology led to safer and more intelligent warehouse robotics. Wow. Um, so what one human can do, um, a robot can do 10 of. Um, or if you have, you know, let's say 20, 30 people doing, you know, very laborious manual and intensive picking, you might be able to bring on a robotic solution and keep, you know, move to four or five humans to manage all of those robots. Um, so there's a lot of efficiency on both sides. Cost but, is also reduced because you don't have to pay these robots when they are implemented. Yeah, and they don't take smoke breaks either. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> no smoke breaks, no lunch breaks, no bathroom breaks. <laughs>